Hi everyone, welcome back to Call Me Kinky. So I am doing a video tonight just to talk about my channel, where I've been at, what I've been doing, because I haven't really been posting to the channel. So since I started this channel years ago, a lot of things have changed. When I started this channel, I was living in the South. I since then have lived in New York, and now I'm in the Midwest. So I've gone to graduate school, graduated, and I've lived in two different states since starting this blog, so, or this blog, this channel, whatever. So I actually blog more now on callmekinky.wordpress.com than I post videos simply because it's easier for me just to write something really quick and post it to my blog than it is to go through the process of making a video, editing a video, and uploading. And I'll be honest, I really don't do editing simply because I haven't taken the time to really learn how to do editing, but that's something I'm going to work on in 2016. So the name of the channel has also changed to Call Me Kinky. It was originally Pretty Accomplished. That was my name, and that's my line name. So I am an AKA, so I used that name at the time when I started the channel. Now it's Call Me Kinky because that's my blog's name, and I wanted consistency across all my social media platforms. So on Instagram is Call Me Kinky, on Twitter is Call Me Kinky, my blog is callmekinky.wordpress.com, and now my YouTube channel is Call Me Kinky. So that has changed. Now, the channel originally was focused more on my natural hair and my thrifting and things like that. Now that I'm in a different space in life, I don't have as much passion for hair. Not that I still don't like hair and beauty. I just don't have passion for that to, to talk about it on a regular basis. So I'm going to give you guys a quick update on what I have been doing with my hair. And really, that's nothing. So in the past two years or so, my hair has gone through a lot of changes. It, it's, always, it's always been healthy. It always grows. Um, but I also cut my hair whenever I feel like it. So I recently cut my hair in July. And to me, I call that a big chop because I cut off a lot. I'm talking about more than four, probably more than three to four inches of hair. So to me, it was a big chop. This is the shortest my hair has been since I've been natural and I went natural in 2008. So I'm in the process now of growing my hair back out and just enjoying it at a shorter length. But I'll be honest, where I live now is very cold. So I don't really plan on doing my hair much this winter or leaving it out. So it will be in some type of protective style like it is now. These are crochet twist. And I do have a video up that I'll link below of my first review of the crochet twist, but I still have them in. Um, as you can tell, my hair is growing out, but I didn't really get my edges braided up anyway when I first got them in. I just added a few more crochet twists to the front just to make it look more fresh because I've had these in since November 27th, 28th, and today is January 23rd, so a long time. Like, for real, that, that's a long time. But I keep my hair in protective styles, and that seems to be working for me for now. And I think I'll continue to do protective styling at least throughout the winter, just because when it's so cold like this, I don't want to expose my hair to this dry, cold weather. My hair just would not thrive. And then I'm wearing scarves and hoodies and hats and a lot of things like that to, to cover my head and my ears, and I don't want my hair being rubbed and all of those things. So it's just easier to keep it in a protective style. So yes, crochets will probably be my go-to style for the rest, the rest of the winter. Um, and if you guys remember, if you've been rocking with me since the beginning of my channel, you know that I've been doing crochet since crochet was popular. I've been doing crochet since 2009, and back then a lot of people were not really doing crochet braids, but I've been doing them since then, so I came back to the basics and I'm doing crochet again and after this I'll probably do a um, either do some curly hair or I may do a short bob out of some canapulon hair but you know blow it out flat iron it and shape it into a bob or something like that so I'm trying to figure out where I want to do next because it's time to take this down I'll be taking this down next week and I'll let you guys know what I decide to do next but if you really want to keep up with me Definitely follow, definitely follow the blog, comicinky.wordpress.com, because I'm more active on the blog. I talk a lot more on there, and I don't just talk about hair 
and makeup and clothes. I talk about life stuff. I talk about deep stuff. I talk about education. I talk about other things that I'm passionate about because I'm just at a different point in life now. And things that used to excite me just don't excite me anymore. Um, I also talk a lot about traveling. So I've been to Israel. I've been to Ghana. I've been to a lot of islands. I'm going to Greece this year. I'm going to Haiti this year. I'm also going to Cuba this year. So I talk a lot about my travel experiences as well because as a young black professional, I like to share those experiences with people of color to inspire other young people to start seeing the world. So my focus has shifted a little bit. So Call Me Kinky is not just about hair anymore. It's not. But in my real life, I am kinky, meaning that I have never walked on a straight and narrow path. I have never been cookie cutter. <laughs> I'm unpredictable sometimes. And so kinky for me not only is a synonym for my hair, it's a metaphor for who I am as a person. So yes, call me kinky is what you'll see on any of my social media platforms going forward. If you have any video requests, let me know. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. This is kind of like a blah, 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 catch you up type of video. So if I miss anything, make sure you just leave a comment below. And somebody's probably going to wonder what's on my lips. So what I have on my lips is a purple color called Purple Passion. I got this actually at my local, be local beauty supply store for less than $3. And it's by a brand called Absolute New York. Here it is, and it is kind of, it's not matte, so you can tell that it's more of a gloss. It applies very easily on the lips. I like it. It's a pretty purple, and it layers well with other, with other things. So if you put a lipstick on and then put this on top, it layers very well. And it, it doesn't get dry and crusty like some of those um, other lip stains and stuff like that. But that's what I'm wearing from the beauty supply store. That is it. So I still have my scarf on because it was freezing today. And I've been out all day and most of the night. So I'm back, about to go to bed. But I wanted to do an update video. Make sure you check out my um, review on these twists. This is after two months, y'all. Like, I had these in since November. And this hair is still holding up. I mean, for real, like, just love these. I absolutely love them. But anyway, I am rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Until next time, peace, love, and prosperity. And always remember to keep it kinky. Bye.